this uh, project involved around 10 countries around Europe. The main objective of the SWARMS project is to extend the use of AUB and ROB to facilitate the planning, execution and creation of maritime and offshore operation. We have developed a methodology for uh, development of autonomous uh, systems in marine operations. The requirements for the Swarm software are a result of uh, this methodology. Uh, the methodology will be further developed for uh, other um, autonomous applications. In Swarms, we have implemented a mission management tool with a graphical user interface where the operator can plan and supervise the progress of complex missions involving several maritime vehicles. In addition, we have developed a middleware that provides reliable communications, both for overwater and acoustic communications. This way, AUVs, ROVs and USBs can cooperate together and we guarantee that even if vehicles lose connectivity, all messages are delivered once communications are restored. This work package has three objectives. The first is uh, the construction of new large-scale and small-scale sensors. By large-scale sensors, uh, mainly sonars, uh, small-scale sensors, uh, mainly stereo vision cameras and uh, chemical sensors. The second objective is the automatic processing of this data uh, in order to uh, increase the autonomy of the robots. And the third objective is the information sharing in the context awareness framework, uh, which shares this information between the robots and uh, with the operators. We started from some commercial components, uh, we modified them, and we also added uh, new systems and new applications in order to extend the capabilities. And after that, we also integrated the different uh, systems in order to uh, improve the performances of the available components and to optimize the general performances of the network. The main achievement of our package sheet is the RSOA developed during the project. A RSOA, which means robot system on board architecture, is a generic and modular architecture based on the robot middleware ROS, which allows the robot to perform autonomously high-level tasks assigned by the mission management tool. Within our work package, uh, we concentrated on autonomy and assistance functions. In the very beginning, we developed a simulation environment based on the robot simulator Gazebo. Regarding teleoperation, we developed and built an intuitive input device and a user interface. For autonomy, we created 3D path planning algorithms for the different vehicles of, of the partners. And last but not least, uh, we implemented and simulated a hybrid docking approach which is based on acoustics and RF communication. The final demonstration consists in tracking a virtual fresh water plume using three AUVs and one USB collaborating each other. The project plays a great challenge in terms of coordination, requiring the integration of the work of many partners, each one responsible for the development of a part of the SWARM system. Finally, we reach a full integration of the system that allow to successfully perform the mission in real environment. Swarms also provided an outstanding opportunity for research and academic partners who presented results in more than 30 scientific conferences and industry-oriented events. This fostered synergies with other European projects and allowed to extend partners' competences to offer specialized training and consultancy, thus performing key knowledge transfer to industry. More information on the project outcomes can be found at swarms.eu website. For example, our clients are government, port and terminal operators and oil, gas, wind energy companies. And these clients, well, they require safe, robust and effective operations. And the Swarms concept could have an added value in our operations in terms of safety, efficiency, but most of all cost reduction. The construction industry is an eternal moment due to the possibility threatened posed by digitalization. Swarm has offered a good chance to analyze the possibility offered by unmanned vehicles to create value for the company in terms of improvement in quality and health and safety, 
and to assess the maturity of this technology for its integration in the construction processes. It's a very, very good experience uh, to work with these uh, 31 partners around 10 uh, European countries. The important thing of the project is the cooperation is uh, totally a success.